Hey everyone, today I will be talking about how to configure MySQL and MySQL Workbench uh, in a Mac machine. Before we begin the demo or uh, how to configure these things, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for all your support. Uh, let's open up any Chrome browser and uh, go to this URL. This URL will be posted or pasted on the description. Uh, once you go to this page, you will see on the left side, there are a couple of options uh, where you can use that is to install uh, on your Mac machine. For this demo, I will be using a, a native packages. Uh, once you click on the native packages, you will see as a first line, you will see a link where you can download um, all the um, different uh, formats um, screens. Once you go up here, uh, you can see an option uh, for selecting the operating systems and then list of versions up here. Uh, for this demo, as I mentioned that I know what version I need to be in, downloaded it. So I will be downloading the 64 bit. So this will take you to another page. Uh, you have two options up here, login and sign up. If you already have an account, uh, please feel free to log in and download it. For now, I'm just clicking on the no thanks just start my download i'm not going to create a login or i'm not going to create a sign up or um, login to the account once you downloaded it you can um, open that just double click on that that will start installing it um, sometimes you know you will see this is from an unidentified developer um, so okay so this is exact message you'll see it if you see this messages i would recommend you to go to system preference and um, I think you know we have to go to uh, security and privacy uh, let's see where that is yep there you go that's a security and privacy click on that and once you come up here um, it doesn't show anything you need to click on the OK button once you click on the OK button you will see that's an option to open that file right let's open that file so that will start installing uh, to the Mac machines. So this needs some access to uh, access it. Okay, I'll just need to open it. Okay, let's click on open. Okay, and then just follow the instructions, continue. I'm just going to close this. Let's go click on continue. I uh, need to agree the terms and conditions. Um, if you want, you can change the locations. But for this demo, I'm just keeping as it is. Click on the install. Uh, that will be asking you to uh, enter your machine password that just gives some uh, permissions to configure it. So you can see all the steps are happening right now it's running packages and then various other steps. There are two ways you can use the create the credentials uh, if you want you can use the strong password or all uh, all the way so I'm going to use the strong password uh, that means like you know there is a password um, rules um, you need to follow that means like you know there should be an eight characters and special symbols and various other standards I'm going to create a, a strong password right now and let's see you know whether we can um, continue the steps with the, um, the strong password okay have a one strong password is ready just keep in mind if you're creating a strong password just make sure that you remember uh, the password right so i entered the password that has like you know all the all the criteria it's met um so now i'm going to just click on the finish button that also again asking me to just in, uh, enter my pseudo password uh, maybe you don't see that you know that keep asking this passwords because recently i made some restrictions on my machines that's why okay now it's uh, completed successfully and you can see uh, there is an uh, the installation was completed successfully once you have it successfully completed you can just you know if you want you can just close this buttons and then go back to um, um, next step which is like you know my SQL workbench uh, configurations right so my SQL workbench is nothing but that that's an ID and that ID will help you to connect up uh, to a local host uh, database or MySQL databases which you installed um, I recommend that you know you can use this there are so many other tools 
uh, which you can think about using to connect to the database uh, such as db or uh, data grip and various other things for now it's a free version since all the mysql workbench uh, once you downloaded that open it then you need to move to application folder again it's asking for it to enter the machine password enter it so that means you know it's just successfully copying that right now um, yeah sorry i think it just went uh, went on the background but you know if you see that it's, you can see it's copying the workbench to the applications folder okay looks like uh, it's been uh, actually copied to um, the applications folder uh, now let's go to the applications folder uh, hmm. okay let me just go from finder click on the applications bicycle workbench click on the open button and let's see uh, the screen so um, there is a MySQL connections already. I had it in the past, so that's why it's there. I, even though it's a fresh new installation, it didn't uh, go away. But when you see it, you won't be seeing it. So let's start from scratch. Let's pretend that you know this connection was not exist. I'm going to create a new one, right? You can just uh, put a connection name. I just put localhost um, MySQL, and host name is. Uh, your local IP address and then port is 3306 and then root and then we can um, enter the strong password which you created it for root once you enter the password click on ok so there is an option to test the connection that you can click on that to just to see whether the connection is established correctly or not ok click on ok now the connections are configured up here so you can just click on that and then that will open the id and then you will be able to explore the options for now i'm going to create a schema uh, or let's sometimes some people call it as a database uh, create schema um, i'm going to create a test schema so there is an option to execute it uh, so you can just go to the menu and then see um, you can um, execute it or if it's a mac um, it's a command key plus enter uh, once you enter the command key plus enter that will get executed on it so you can there's a bunch of options you know i would say that get familiar with the uh, commands I executed it you can see the schema is created um, on the left side you will see there is an um, administration and then there is a schema sections uh, there is a little bit exploring on MySQL you can see uh, the network status MySQL status and various other um, values up here when you click on the schema you don't see there is a default one but uh, if you want but we know that we already created a new schema right so how do I see that um, you there is a way uh, there is a refresh button up there click on the refresh button you will see it on the left side there is a schema has been created there's no tables uh, if you want we can create a one quick table to see uh, for that I think I would recommend that you, know, you need to set the schema as default schema otherwise always um, <coughs> you need to uh, specify the schema name let me create a table script um, yep that's a table script for creating a table called Payson which couple of column names let me execute that you can ask uh, as I mentioned that you can execute um, uh, okay so it throws some exception that means like the database was not selected so if you want you can select the database um, so or you have to say um, the schema name dot the table name so there's an option to set the default schema I'm going to set that as a default schema set as a default schema once you set that um, it's basically um, the schema is already set right? so if you see this is another option you can do it you can say test schema dot person that means it will the table will be get created on the schema if it not there is an option on the left side which is as I mentioned just few minutes or few seconds ago that's like you know selecting that as a default schema 
So once you select the default schema, um, you can execute. See, there's an option to set the default schema. Set the default schema. Now, uh, I'm sorry, I think, you know, we need to remove the option for the default schema. Just say create a table, okay? Okay, I already said it up. that's perfectly fine. Execute the scripts and then you can see the table is created. If you want, you can just run some queries to see. Um, so let's start from persons and then, you know, um, okay, so I think I accidentally exited um, the workbench. Let's open that again. Um, so let's start from persons and then you can see the table is already created up here. Uh, that's the way you use the uh, MySQL workbench um, and then enjoy your MySQL versions in Mac and also MySQL workbench. And once again, uh, please subscribe my channel if you haven't already for better videos and thanks support support me and uh, thank you for watching. Um, this video.